Well, hey there, EVTV. Here's Anna Klopenborg with that Amsterdam update. I'm sitting here in the cabin cruiser known as the Joni. Uh, regular viewers will know that it's been more than a year since we picked her up and enthusiastically introduced her as our new build and uh, a personal pleasure project uh, to make a electric cabin cruiser that we can take out with the family and uh, discover Holland uh, at a more slow and sedate pace, but probably for uh, days on end. Um, as is uh, often the case with the uh, uh, near bankrupt reality <laughs> that is a startup EV shop, add to that the uh, limited time you have when you're trying to go after customer projects and uh, raise a small family <laughs> and then try and find some uh, time for projects on the side. But uh, uh, a little over a year later, we did manage to uh, scrape together the parts and time uh, needed to finish this project, uh, at least to the point where we can get our first set of EV grins uh, with the cabin cruiser. Uh, I've got to say that uh, I got into this uh, game, the, the EV electrifying uh, vehicles game, uh, because I was looking for water skiing and action and lots of torque and more power uh, so to go for a cabin cruiser is a new experience uh, for me entirely but i must say that uh, being out on the water at a three kilowatt power draw doing about five miles an hour i think i got my deepest and most satisfying ev grin yet <laughs> It's uh, it's really a game changer, guys. Uh, being out in a boat like this always meant living with a giant hog of a diesel, which would dominate the experience. I mean, you're out there, you're trying to have a great time, and there's 700 RPMs of no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not. Uh, always checking there in the background. And uh, the boats have gotten a lot better, and the more expensive the boat, the quieter the motor. It's really a, a badge of honor out there in cabin cruiser land. Who, uh, who gets to be the quietest, and generally they have the most expensive, most modern uh, uh, diesel block. But anybody on that boat will know the exact microsecond that the captain turns the switch and that motor calms down. And everybody has that little point right under your belly button where you go, ah. So what do we have under the hood in this boat? Uh, we've shown you the warp DC motor and soliton that were mated to a marine reverse drive um, in the last couple of weeks. Well, Raymond was able to uh, mate her to a, a shaft coupling for the 35 millimeter shaft that we have in here and uh, get the whole thing mounted on the original diesel motor blocks uh, pattern with an adapted frame and uh, lined out so that we could test her forward reverse and all uh, at RPMs to uh, find out that she has enough alignment and no knocking about. Uh, all around that is mounted four cases of uh, Winston Lithium Yttrium batteries. Uh, this is our shop pack that was originally in the Glastron, did some time in the silver back before we had our CA cells in, uh, has been in another customer project as a placeholder for better place packs that were taking a long time, uh, then served as a shop pack getting uh, TUV certification done with the Siemens. So these cells have been around the block. Uh, they've been carted all around the country and in several different vehicles. And now they've come to rest uh, here in the Joni. Uh, we have 94 cells um, at 90 amp hours giving us roughly 20, uh, 27, 28 kilowatt hours. Uh, let's call it 25 on tap. Um, then we also have our uh, JLD 404 uh, next to the 12 volt battery system. The JLD 404 will pick up voltage when we engage the contactor that splits the pack in two. And once we have the voltage, we can then switch the soliton into the on position and uh, then we have forward and reverse motion and our charger right now is a brusa 513 our shop charger which is uh, doing service here in the joni until we get a more dedicated system set up 
We'll still be adding a DC DC converter. Right now, we're uh, charging the 12 volt uh, when we're unsure. Uh, we have four 180 amp hour cells, so we have enough 12 volt for the soliton and the contactor. But I'm, of course, looking to add a lot of 12 volt pleasure, like uh, uh, my converter, my cooler, uh, several fans, uh, fans, a lot of horns, uh, lights. Uh, having a large battery pack with you and a good size inverter means you can run a whole lot of house loads and a whole lot of creature comforts uh, with not a lot of problems, really. So that's what's uh, under the hood. Uh, we, f I finished her in, well, not I didn't really finish her in time to go on vacation. It was the night before we were supposed to leave that I uh, finally hooked her all uh, up. And uh, the morning that we were supposed to go on vacation uh, was the first time that I was able to uh, test her out. So instead of really doing a test run, I uh, simply fired her up and uh, took her down to Finkafane, a beautiful area, uh, only about half an hour, an hour south of Amsterdam by car, a couple of hours south when you're doing lots of uh, rivers, locks, and meandering streams before you can get there at about five or six miles an hour. So we, uh, me and Ray took her down to Finkafane. Uh, it lasted, uh, took us about seven, five hours of boating, uh, six and a half hours counting waiting time, and uh, maiden voyage, made it there on a first uh, run had a wonderful week out there with the family uh the Joni, the cabin cruiser and uh we tugged along our alumacraft flat bottom boat which has the electric outboard so once we were at some position we could then uh, take the electric outboard buzz around go to the shop go to a restaurant come back and still have camp position uh prime camp position set up well uh, I can hardly tell you guys how satisfying uh, this project really is and the, the, you know, the absolute joy of being able to uh, uh, drive around uh, lakes um, out there um, in Finkafane. Probably the best way to uh, give you guys a good feel of what it's like is to take you on the tour back from Finkafane to Amsterdam. So starting out in nature and uh, just calmly making our way back into the busy life that is uh, uh, the Amsterdam Canals and the city center. So let's go out on a tour, guys. Thank you. Uh...
Well, there you have it. Some of the best moments uh, out with an electric motor can be had at three kilowatts draw doing five miles an hour and uh, watching the world pass you by. It's an amazing experience, and I think that not only will those people that have a cabin cruiser and need to at some point repower their uh, boat uh, definitely consider electric. I think that once we show people that you can have this cabin cruiser or in fact a big Winnebago out there on the road and you don't need to live with a big, big diesel block and your wife doesn't have to make that concession to her uh, uh, <laughs> nose and her sensibilities uh, uh, and doesn't have to live with a, a big hog of the diesel. I think we can bring a lot of people into the mix. I mean what's greater than having your own self-sufficient vehicle autonomously out there I mean with this amount of acreage out on top of your deck uh, add a few solar panels and uh, you don't even need much of that uh, infrastructure that is already there for charging you can do it out on the go so here's a very happy Anna Kloffenborg saying uh, we've been building <laughs> what are you doing hey we'll see you soon guys take it easy